everybody, it's Sandy Elnoff, Prima Ribbonista for May Arts, and I wanted to show you how to make these adorable little coffee mug boxes using Scorpel, May Arts, and a little basic gray paper. So here are the supplies we're going to need. I'll walk you through what all of them are, and there's also a list on my blog of all of them. Look at the great ribbon we're going to use, and here's one of the finished coffee cups that I've made. Really fun project. First we're going to take our score buddy and our piece of paper. This is from the Basic Gray Mint Julep line. And I'm going to score at an inch each on along this whole 9 inch panel. It's 9 inch by 4 and a half inches. All the measurements will be on my blog too. And I want to thank Valerie Stangle for putting together the PDF, and she did that inspired by Kitty Franken. Both these were from Scorpal, and this tutorial was on their blog, and I just decided to make a video with it because it was so cute, and I wanted to get it out to you guys so you can make some. Really fun. So I'm adapting my scoring because I'm using the Score Buddy instead of the Score Pal. I need to do an inch and a half all the way down. So I'm just going to do it halfway down, slide it up, since my score buddy doesn't go all the way down the nine inches, and then complete the score. Next is making tabs out of each one of these. These little pieces at the bottom are going to make up the entire bottom of the coffee cup. So you want to have each one of those snipped off. This outside one, we want to have, you can do it on either side, but snip off one and make it a tab. Cut those in at an angle. So it'll work really well. And then you want to pre-fold each one of these so that this coffee cup starts taking its own shape and following along as you start adhering it together. Next we're going to add some score tape. This is fantastic stuff. If you do not have a roll of this or a couple in a couple widths in your craft room, you are missing out. I have several rolls and it also comes in sheets. And really love the product. Um, Put this toward the score side of this little fold panel, this little tab, because you want to make sure that you don't end up with a gap when you have your coffee cup together. Press it down and there you go, your basic coffee shape has taken form. Now we're going to put together the bottom and you're going to put a little piece of score tape on the inside of one of the panels and fold it across. You're going to try to meet up with the one across from it. So you're going to make a little cross piece. Make sure you pull them out enough that the whole thing retains sort of an even shape. You don't want it squished on one side or you have a warped kind of mug. Don't ask me how I know that. <laughs> so then you do the crisscross the other direction and adhere that together. And then you'll pick one of the other sides, crisscross those, and then do the last side and attach those together. Mine don't line up all the way, but it still makes a nice little coffee cup ready for treats. Next we need to do a handle for this and this one we're going to get the score buddy back out and I have a pre-cut piece of paper and this is also from the same piece of paper I made the mug from and I used two Spellbinders dies to create it, ran them both through at the same time and I'm going to fold it in half and I think what I want to do on this one since I've practiced and goofed up a different one I am going to put a little bit of adhesive in between here before I trim it in half, because you need two half circles for this. But you don't want the adhesive to go all the way down to the crease. So I'm using a little bit of Tombow's Stamp Runner to put some adhesive in here. And you'll see why it shouldn't go all the way to the crease in just a second. We're gonna um, cut uh, the ends of these so that those will split. And then we need to create a little something for this handle to stick to the mug. So I'm lining it up at three and a half. You can do it at any mark that has a quarter inch mark before it. So then I'm going to mark them at three and a quarter and just score there. I'm going to turn it over and do the same thing on the other side. And line them up. And you will see they split out like this and they make a perfect thing to stick onto the coffee mug itself. So I've just put a little piece of score tape on each one and I'm going to press it onto the cup. Look, it's done! Now for the decoration and the fun! So I have put my little treats in there. I have some stamps that I'm giving away as blog candy this Memorial Day weekend. And if you want to go join in, visit my blog, sandyallock.com, and enter to win. 
The uh, string I'm using is May Arts string. This is not the normal thicker May Arts jute that I've used in many of my other videos and other projects. This is string, it's much thinner. And I'm going to punch out some stars with my Fiskars squeeze punch. This is going to be the thing that's going to hold the ribbon onto the, the top of the little package that I've got going. And I'm doing a star, you can do any shape you want, but since it's a patriotic holiday, I thought I would do a little bit of uh, patriotica here. And I've just threaded each end of the string and set that aside. Next is this beautiful, I love this stuff, <laughs> this uh, striped ribbon. It's not red, white, and blue, it's red sort of canvas colored in blue. It's not even cream or craft, it's more of a canvasy color. And I'm just going to fold it in half and trim both ends so that both of them have a double point on them. And I was thinking about tying a whole bow around this project, um, around the top of the little bag, and it was just too thick. The bow got really huge and it really overwhelmed it, so I wanted something a little smaller. So I'm just going to lay it across the centerpiece that I've already created, and I'm going to tie a knot. Now don't tie it too tight, just tie it enough to hold it together and then you can have a little bit of room to tug and pull and get it centered the way you'd like it to be. And just nudge it down a little bit and then I'm going to tie another knot and then I'll make a bow on top of that. You could tie charms on here, there's all kinds of fun things that you can add to make the decoration your own personal creation and make it go with whatever theme of the coffee cup that you're putting together as a gift or whatever you'd like to use it for. Then fluff it up and here is the finished pair of little coffee cups that I made. I've added a sentiment embellishment on it using an SRM sticker, some more paper, and some nestabilities. Thank you so much for taking a moment to watch this video. If you enjoyed it, please click the like button down below. You can hit subscribe for lots more from May Arts. And if you want to see more from me, click on the little coffee mug box and you can subscribe to my channel. I would also love it if you would leave me a comment in the doobly-doo down below and tell me what you would put into one of these little boxes. Right now, these all contain stamps, but what would you put inside? Go have a really great day and tie it up with some ribbon.